everyone. Welcome to Deanna Creates. So in today's video, we are going to be working on some index trading cards or ITCs. I have a swap coming up and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to share with you guys my process. So let's just get started. So um, the thing that we're going to do, I am doing this swap in a napkin group. So the requirement is that you always have to use uh, at least part of a napkin in your cards. Um, the group also has themes. So every time we do a swap, there's a different theme to it. So a couple of the themes that are in there that I'm going to work on today, one of them is turquoise. And so my interpretation of that is pretty much everything I use on the card needs to be turquoise. And then the other one is bugs. And so um, when I saw that one, I was like, do I even have anything related to that? And then I remembered I do have um, a collection kind of of that with um, some of the Tim Holtz things that I have. Um, I really like the look of like, you know, um, specimen, but botanical, that kind of thing. And of course he uh, is all about that. So let's just get started with the first one. So the bugs is the first one that we're gonna do. And I have already done a little bit of prep so I didn't really have a napkin that was gonna work um, for the bug theme, really. So all I did was in one of the layers that I took apart, I just stamped. I used, um, I used this stamp and it's just, a, it's just a stamp with all kinds of script. This is a, like a first generation IOD stamp um, from Redesign with Prima. And I really, really like this stamp. So I just stamped on here with my vintage photo um, to get a background for my card. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this on the background of our card. And so we're just gonna lay it down and I use Mod Podge. I use Mod Podge on these cards. I don't usually use Mod Podge on a lot of other projects, but for these, I do tend to use the Mod Podge. Um, and you know, guys, these cards are really, really fun because whether you're doing an index card or whether you're doing um, an artist trading card, they are great ways to utilize supplies, do little projects um, and so forth. The first thing that I do like to do before I put a layer down is I like to put some intention or a little message in onto the card or if I'm doing a playing card. Um, so I'm just taking, this is just my one of my white Stabilo pens and I'm just gonna write some inspiration or something positive, something that I want you know this card to have in intention when it gets to the recipient. And it's white, so you really can't see it on there at all. And so then I'm just gonna put my Mod Podge down to put our napkin on. So again, what these will allow you to do is just play around. Um, pull out your supplies. You can use anything with these. You can use paint, you can use watercolor, which I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, scrapbook papers, which you know is one of my loves. I mean, they the possibilities are really limitless only to your imagination with these. So what I'm doing is I am just, I Mod Podge the whole thing, and so then I'm just laying my napkin over it, and then I will just trim it off. It just makes it a little bit easier than trying to, um, you know, just do little sections. And now I'm just trying to get some of the little wrinkles off. I don't care so much about the wrinkles. I like the character that that gives to it, but I get some of them out of there. And I really love this as a background. Uh, as you guys know, I really love the whole script thing. And, um, this just makes a perfect background for what we're gonna do. And so then I just trim it off 
You could use the water method for this, just for sake of time here. I'm just gonna use my scissors to trim around there. And so you could do this with anything, with these, you know, these extra layers when you separate your napkins. You could use any kind of stamps or anything like that, which is, is so, so fun to use in your art journal or anything like that. You know, the beauty of using napkins is it just disappears. It disappears into whatever it is that you're working on. Um, so there's how it looks now. There's still a few edges, but that's okay. We'll finish that when we, um, when we kind of finish it, wrap it up. So then what I've done for the bugs is I have this, um, this is a stamp by Tim Holtz. This is one that comes in one of his mixed media packs and it has also a little stencil that goes with it. But this, like I mentioned, is all about kind of his theme. I mean, it's got specimen, it's got, you know, little numbers, like you would be IDing something if you were, you know, working, um, you know, working on collecting specimens or something scientific. So I really, really love this. So all I did was I took um, three of the stamps. So here's a little like beetle-like thing, uh, a moth, and then um, a little, looks like it's a little bee. And I just stamped those onto a brown paper lunch sack and cut them out because I really wanted that, you know, I really wanted that kind of palette of the, that it looks like craft paper or whatever. And so I'm just gonna go around it, of course, with my vintage photo a little bit, just to give it that additional depth. And I just cut around it. I didn't use precise detail, you know, because all their little legs and their wings are, that would be, Kind of difficult so so i would love for you guys to share if you have done any um trading card swaps um, i also do the um, altered playing cards uh, which is super fun so we may do those one day too um you know you just get regular playing cards and you alter them so it's like, it's just great. It's great time to just learn and play um, and just see where your direction goes. The prompts really help if you're, you know, stumped for ideas. So if you're not in any napkin groups, then I would encourage you to do that. I'll post a link to the napkin group that I'm in on Facebook so that you guys can, you know, take a look. It's a really fun and kind group. All right, so I've got these laid out here, and so I'm doing them kind of in a line, um, kind of like you might would see like on a specimen card. Um, I've cut out uh, another stamp. I did another stamp, and it's number 4899. And um, I have this really cool old like ledger paper and so all I did was I've just kind of distressed it and then um, just kind of marked on it and, you know, did some things. And so I just stamped that and cut that out. I thought that was a really kind of fun addition. So let's just use our Mod Podge here. Or do I want to use my stick glue? Maybe I'll just use that since these are so tiny. If I got it here, I don't remember if I brought it. No, oh well, we'll just use the Mod Podge. Get some of this excess off. And so I'm just gonna put this on the back. This is gonna be so cute. At first I was like, what am I gonna do? And then I, like I said, I remembered about the specimen. And then when I looked around like in all my supplies, I really had um, quite a few things that 
had some kind of bugs on them even even some transfers so I was like I got this and when I make these because I you know you're mailing them and I tend to try to use just um, like a big card size envelope you know that a big that bigger larger cards would come in um, so that uh, I, I don't have to try to get to the post office. And so I don't tend to put a lot of things on my cards where, you know, there's rays. Like I don't put brads on there or, you know, anything like that that might get caught like in the mail machine. And so look how cute that is so far. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. And so then we're gonna take this little number that I have and we're going to just stress it and I'm just putting it at the bottom I plan on taking this ledger paper that I have and I think I'm going to like do a bunch of stamping on it too. I think that would be super fun. I wanna take a whole day just to kind of make my own papers. And so there is how it is again with that little, that looks so cute. And then I think, um, I also have another one of his that has um, like specimen type stuff on here, but I think I think the this little size that I have is going to be the best one. Um, I also have an old dictionary page here, and so I looked up the word bug, and I'm going to add that to um, our little card. So this is a really old dictionary page, as you can tell by the color. So it has the perfect coloring to it. And it says bugaboo under there. So I'm going to cut that off. And then let's see, do I have a darker one? Let's use this black soot around this one just to give it a little bit different look to it. And so these are really mini mixed medias is really what these little cards are. They're really just mini mixed media pieces. Um, because like you see, we're using all different types of mediums. We're using, we're using cards, we're using napkins, we're using stamps, we're using inks, all the fun things. And of course my palette, I'm staying all in the same like color palette because it, I just think it gives it more of that kind of scientific look. So there it is. Oh my gosh, y'all, oh, it's so cute. I love, love, love it. All right, and I think there's one more little stamp I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use part of this one that's called, it has like a specimen on it. I'm not gonna use all of it because it's really too big, but I'm gonna try to see if I just kind of stamp over it, what I have on there already, how that looks. Um, and I'm going to use the black ink so maybe it stands out a little more. And that's okay. It doesn't didn't do quite a perfect impression, but that is all right. Let's try to put one. I wonder if I can do it right there. Oh, 
oh yeah, that's great. And so it just again gives it a little bit more, more something, something to it. And so I think that is all that I am gonna do on this one. And I'm gonna trim the edges with our ink. Well, let's clean up these first. And then I'm gonna distress. And you can take your little sanding block or sandpaper and do that too, if you don't wanna trim it with the scissors. And then we're just gonna go around it with our ink. And there is one of our little artist trading cards all done. I think it's so cute. And so what I typically do on the back of them is I will print a label, uh, like a little return address label or something, and I have, you know, I'll put my name on it, and I'll put like what, what group it's from, and then like what the theme is. So like bug, bugs will go on the back of that one. So for the next one, the next theme was turquoise. So I've pulled just some bits and pieces out of my stash of things that I might want to use that are turquoise. And so with this card, I used watercolor on here. And this is super easy to do to add watercolor to um, a card. It's really easy. And I'm going to show you that really quickly. And so I'm pulling out my watercolors here. And I am going to do this turquoisey color here even though I've already done that, I love it. And you just kind of go over your card with the watercolor. You don't have to gesso it, you don't have to do anything. Um, and it just creates just a really, really beautiful background to it. And because of the nature of watercolor, you know, it kind of does, it kind of does its own thing. And so this is a really fast and easy way to get some color down on your card. It'll dry quickly. You can, you know, put some down there and then work on another project, another card while it's drying. Um, and it's just beautiful. And so that is how it looks with the watercolor. And so we'll just set that aside and let it dry. And then when we go to do another project, it's already, it's ready for us to go. Um, all right, so I have one that I've already done. And so remember my requirement is I've got to use part of a napkin. So I have a napkin that looks like this with this beautiful bird on it. And so isn't that pretty? And so this at the bottom is kind of a turquoisey blue. So I'm going to use part of that on there to go, you know, to stay in with my colored skin my color theme. So I think I'm just gonna put part of it on here like this. And you guys, these are your little napkin scraps. I mean, I know we don't need any more scraps, but they are perfect just to keep and put them in your art journal. I'm working on a page in my art journal right now, and um, it's I keep my art journal back in my my uh, office, and so I, not my office, but it's another room that I have that has a little desk in there, and I just keep those scraps on my table, and so I started a page just with whatever was like laying around on my table, and. It is turning out so, so cute. So as you get little pieces of things, um, just keep that in mind of ways that you can use that. 
All right, so then I have this really pretty piece of scrapbook paper. This is a redesign with Prima from one of their little, their little paper pads. And it, of course, is turquoise, and I love it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful collective collection of papers. And so I'm using this uh, aquamarine in the Ranger archival ink around the edges. And I think it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And so then I'm gonna come in here with my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put this paper down. So I'm just going over my card here. So that I can put my paper and I'll do part of it on here too. Make sure it sticks. And already this is just looking really, 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 really pretty. Um, I love how the colors, I love turquoise anyway. I think it's a beautiful color. And so look how it looks so far. Isn't that fun? And so we'll trim that off as we kind of go along. So then I have this really fun little ticket that's in a turquoise. I have this little flower. Um, I have these, um, these are all Prima paper flowers. So I'm gonna use some of those. So I thought I would put one on this flower here. And I think that looks really cute. I have this one that has some turquoise in it, but that's kind of too much of a pattern. So I think I'm gonna use that one. And so I'm going to ink this too. So I'm just keeping everything in this palette, just everything in turquoise, different shades, different colors. And again, that's kind of the fun thing about the ATCs is it's your own interpretation of the prompt. And it's really fun to see how everyone's interpretation is different. Um, when you get then your set of cards from whoever your swap partner is, you'll be like, wow, I didn't even think about it that way. So it's, it's really, really fun. It's fun to see people's ideas and how differently creative we all are. And I just love these little flowers from Redesign. I am gonna put a little bit of tacky glue on this cause it is a little, you know, it's gonna need maybe a little bit more to stick on there. And I'll probably will put a little stamp on there too. And then I have this with this really pretty butterfly sticker on there. So I thought that would be perfect to add. So again, you're just taking a look at the things that you have and what you can, what you can use. And oh my goodness, I really love that butterfly. She's really a pretty butterfly. And so that's how it looks so far with our little turquoise theme. Let's go ahead and cut this off. And then we're gonna do this little ticket here. Let's put some distress on that. And I'm gonna, this is what's gonna be where I put my words for this, cause you guys know how much I love words and script and all the things. And so this is what we're gonna use for that. And what I like to do too with the words is I like to, I like to just put something encouraging on there because you never know 
what the person that's going to receive this card, you never know what it is that they might need to hear, what kind of message that they, they might need at the moment. So I have these ledgers. If you guys haven't seen these, these are typed ledgers by Dina Walkley. Um, and they are full of goodness. And so I've pulled out one of these where I saw something that I thought would be good. Um, I don't have a lot of space, so I just want to keep it I just want to keep it small. So I'm going to find uh, one of these. There's one on here and it says, you got this, you do. And I think that is really, really fun. It's really a good message because, you know, sometimes we all need that reminder of like, hey, you know, you got this girl. You are going to, you got it. You are going to handle it, make it through whatever it is that's happening. And so um, I think this is good. So I'm just cutting this out. And so you could use these in so many different ways. They're just really, really awesome. And so I'm gonna trim it down a little bit more and then I'm gonna cut it in both places here. And so we're just gonna put that on our little ticket. Let's put the ticket down first. And we will do these. I don't think I'm gonna put any distress on these little guys here. I love that. I'm gonna see if I can move this butterfly up. She's already stuck. Or if I can move her up just a tad. Give her a little bit better placement. Yeah, that's better. And so, I really like it. It's really simple, but it has turquoise, it has words, it has flowers, it has butterflies, it has everything in it that I think is just, just perfect. Um, I will go back. I have a little stamp, but I didn't bring it. So I have a little stamp, script stamp that's real tiny. You guys have seen me use that before. I probably will uh, go over this little flower with that just a little bit and maybe do just around it a little bit more. But let's go ahead and finish off our card with our, with our ink here around the edges. and then we are good I didn't use this little wing I had so I'll put that here and so here they are you guys two really cute little artist trading card or index trading cards I, I really like to call everything an artist trading card but the official one is index trading card and I just love them. I just think they turned out really great. And there's, like I said, it's a great way to use your supplies and just create something fun and let your imagination just, just go where it will. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys will give these a try. Please leave me in the comments um, if you've made artist trading cards, index trading cards, anything like that. I also learned, um, that there are artist trading coins that you can do that are little round circle ones. So there's lots of really fun things uh, that we can create. So as always, I appreciate you guys. Love and light to you all. And we'll see you again real soon.